Okay, this is the motor we made online. Um, it's wimpy red. We came up with a, we wanted a neutral grain. So we have three, three and eighth inch grains, half inch cores, I believe a seven sixteenths nozzle. Yes. And the KN is uh, supposed to be 189 to 237. It works out to about a J400. Wait for a car to go by. And then um, we'll stick this in the ground, we'll move the video camera back a little bit, and um, we'll, we'll tape it. One thing is keeping accurate notes of everything you do so that you don't have to go back and try and figure out the older you get, the more sense that makes. And after we test this one, I have a couple more of a formula I'm working on. So we'll go ahead and um, stick this one in the ground, and uh, we'll light it. Bye. Four, three, two, one. Um, so that went pretty good. Nice smooth burn. Nice color. Hopefully the video camera caught the color. And um, it's pretty easy to do using an existing formula, understanding what that formula likes to run, having all the numbers for the formula, using burn sim or propel, understanding grain geometry. You don't need a mixer, you can mix things by hand. And um, it's pretty self-satisfying. I have a couple more motors to test. And after you get started in EX for a while, um, there's the chemistry aspect of it. And I've been working on a formula that I want to have a, a better ISP than swamp gas. I want it to be well behaved and um, stuff. And so I've been playing around with things. One chemical that slows things down and helps ISP is oxamide pretty pricey per pound and so uh, last time I tested I tested a motor that had 3% baking soda in it thinking that the baking soda puts out fires maybe they'll slow it down I thought maybe I was the first one to try that and as it turns out there's already a guy that's um, made a formula with that so this motor here has 3% of the dry powder in a fire extinguisher it's almost exactly the same thing as baking soda but you never know unless you try it. The motor after this one is going to have 3% of black chalk. The black chalk will do a couple of things. It makes the propellant black in color so that it's uh, opaque and that the um, burn is a little bit slower. It's kind of complicated. And um, the chalk is to um, deaden out some of the other things in there. So it's an interesting aspect, is the chemistry involved of what makes what do what, taking things out, putting things in, and changing the burn. So we'll go ahead and test this one if you want to stick around. Okay, this is a, a two grain 54 millimeter motor. It's got three and eighth inch long grains, nine sixteenths core. Um, I don't have the nozzle size, but the KN is 198 to 239. And what this has in it is 3% uh, of the dry powder from a fire extinguisher in there, and I'm trying to slow it down. It also has 0.2% lamp black. Going in five, four, Three, two, one. Okay, we're going to say that one didn't work. 
been a long time since I've done that. 